Good morning. 7.38 a.m. Okay, it's time to call room service. Guys, what the I do not know how to use a phone like this. I don't know how to use one of these. Hmm. Good morning. Could I put in an order for room service? Can I do potato, potato. tomato? Yeah, potato and then tomato. All right, thank you so much. It's tour day. Welcome to our second full day in Japan. Today I'm bringing my siblings on a tour of Mount Fuji. So we're up bright and early getting ready to go. Here for the day. And as I was doing it, our room service came in. Andrew, the room service came. I know. Good morning. Good morning. Oh God, she's more ready than me. This is a disaster. Literally, I am. Amber, look at our room service. Wow! Yummy! Uh, I'm putting on my rain boots. Itchy, dude! I got bit by bugs. Look who just arrived. <laughs> he is ready. I love that. We're not gonna lose sight of him. And now we all gotta put on our little rubber booties we got yesterday. Yay. Let's go. So we opted to do a guided tour and it wasn't really guided, but basically we had a driver that was driving us from Tokyo to Fuji. Mount Fuji is typically only visible like if there are no clouds, like if there's very, very clear weather conditions, then maybe if you're lucky, you'll be able to see Mount Fuji. And if there's a little bit of clouds, you will probably not be able to see it. And today was literally pouring rain. What can you do? We're already here. I had already booked this. So we were gonna make the most of it no matter what the weather conditions. Yay, Amber! So I know, quick bathroom break, bro. Pono is in his element. <laughs> yep. We're like an hour into the drive. It's like a two hour drive. I didn't realize that. I thought it was much shorter, but we're gonna go to the bathroom and get some Starbies. <laughs> I really want to try their matcha here to see how it compares to the matcha in the US because as you guys know the matcha in the US the first ingredient is sugar not really matcha but I want to see if this one is more like matcha I got a blended matcha with soy milk they didn't offer ice it had to be blended it's literally sweeter than in America <laughs> at the Mount Fuji World Heritage Center. We're gonna do a little museum moment. And luckily it's not raining too bad. Knock on camera. Why he's sitting like that? Mmm, ribby. Stop number two, we're gonna go see a shrine. It's like right up these stairs over here. We got dropped off in the cutest little neighborhood ever. Apparently like you're supposed to be able to see Mount Fuji from like a lot of the places that we've been, but it's so incredibly cloudy out that we can't see it, but the fog is still beautiful. Like it looks really cool. It's like rolling over the hills. And I like being in this area, real Japanese neighborhoods. They're so cute. From there, we started climbing the stairs up to the Torado Pagoda, literally 400 steps to get to the top, and the last 100 were definitely a little painful. Stairs upon stairs. But we bumped into some of you guys, which was freaking epic. We climbed all of Mount Fuji. This is at the top of Mount Fuji. <laughs> There's a freaking bug in front of the camera. up the Mount Fuji ropeway. It's like a cable rope line that we're gonna go up. Sorry guys, we're only doing the one-way trip. We're only doing the one way. What's that mean? That means we're, we're only we're going that. to the top and we're not coming down. Also, can you show me your outfit? Can you do a little spin? I'm bald. <laughs> just turn, just turn I'm literally it. Bald. <laughs> You look like the alien from like American Dad. <laughs> you look like Roger. We're in the tightest literal. This is like incredibly claustrophobic. This is so claustrophobic. This is like the tightest room ever. There's like 50 people. Oh my god. 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 Oh my god.
<laughs> Amber, you're literally like. Wait, why is it not Who's the smarty pants now? Can't Stop. even ring the bell. My <laughs> first matcha ice cream of the entire trip, and we got, I forget what this is called, but they're like little rice cakes with brown sugar and peanut maybe? Cheers! Mm. I got this heart-shaped rice cracker that's soy sauce flavored. It's really yummy. Mm. Very nutty. Oh, going to town. Wait, what? Again? Bruh. American dab? Bruh. Japanese dab. <laughs> Literally, look at this. But it's warm outside. Like, it's warm. Can you see that in the camera? Your bed stinks. <laughs> uh oh, I fogged up the camera. From there, we headed up to the rooftop for an even more epic view of Mount Fuji. This is my girlfriend. <laughs> Would you think that this is on the top of a peak of a mountain? This is like so funny. I love it. This is great. I love her. <laughs> Enjoying the epic views of Mount Fuji, we decided to get conveyor belt sushi for lunch. Okay, conveyor belt sushi. Guys, we can make our own matcha. Whoa, served with ice cream. Tofu skin, daikon radish, and natto, which I've never had. Basically, it's like fermented beans, but it has like an incredibly strong taste. It sticks together like that. Oh, what is that? What does the natto taste like though? Bitter. It's kind of like mossy, if you will. I'm not gonna like, kind of tastes like coffee. I actually don't mind this. Maybe I'm one of the people that don't mind natto. Amber, try it. Mm. It's actually not bad. Yeah, this one's good. Amber once had some funky natto before, but that one was good. Wait, Andrew, you try it. You've never had natto. What do you think of it? Got matcha mochi amber. Whoa, so good. It's so fresh. Mm, this mochi is so good. It like melts in your mouth. I'm gonna touch it so you can see like the consistency, but it's so squishy. Like this, you can like pull it apart. Whoa. Mm. It's actually like the best thing I've ever tried. What? It's so oh, good. So good. Outdoor museum. Wait, what are you guys looking at over there? Oh my god, they're so big! How do they realize that we're here? Ew, he wants food! Andrew, stop, he's gonna eat your foot. You're gonna get us kicked out of here. Andrew wants to go to Ginza. So we're gonna go explore Ginza, go see some of his little camera shops that he wants to check out. And we're taking the subway for the first time. Ginza is super well known for their shopping, so our main goal tonight was to find the film camera that Andrew's been wanting. Where are the contacts G2s? Unfortunately, the store didn't have it, but we still want to check out some other stores around the area, so we headed to Loft. They have like stationery among other items, and everyone says you have to go to Loft, so that's exactly where we're going. This is so cute! This is my area. Look at this. Wanna get Sencha Green Tea? Loft was so much fun and filled with tons of trinkets, but then we got hungry and went to find dinner in Tokyo Station, which I should have known is the most crowded place on the planet. We're trying to find ramen right now. This is like the most anxiety-inducing 
reducing. Oh my god, Tokyo Station is like way too much. There's so many people. I'm so freaked out. Guys, this is literally crazy. If I knew it was in the subway, bruh. But here we are. Anyways, it was actually the best ramen I had the entire trip, so it was totally worth it. And this restaurant sells plant-based ramen, which is super cool. We got the whole squad in the mirror. We got the black sesame ramen. And we also got veggie gyoza. It's so hot. <laughs> you like inhale like steam. Oh. Beasted. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that this is the most enjoyable ramen that I've ever had. It's the black sesame ramen. It was very good. McDonald's for dessert now. They have teriyaki McBurger. <laughs> McDonald's hall. Spicy McNuggets. They're literally like bright red. Is it spicy? No. <laughs> Really? It's like barely spicy. Damn. Yeah. Pono got the regular ones. These yeah. taste also like 90% the same. Okay. French fry. Period. <laughs> A little undercooked, perhaps. Oh my god. <laughs> they seem more like lightly fried. Yeah. Than in the US. Wait, actually, actually, look at. I think these apple pies are deep fried like they are in Hawaii. I've what? never had that in Hawaii. I've just heard of it. And also, they got the Hot Pocket style wrapping. It's a jack o' lantern. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's deep, deep fried. fried. What? Is it good? It is good. Crispy. The flavor is the same, but the texture of the crust is better. Because the American crust is really dry. I actually prefer the dry crust. Really dry? Yeah. I prefer my dry, bland bread. <laughs>